What up guys, welcome to your 19th and 20th tutorial to, to finish this list view. Again, thanks for watching and subscribing. Uh, basically, if you don't know what list view is, uh, let's check it out. This is what our end result is going to be. This is a list view. You can scroll through it, and when we click on it, uh, it's just going to show a toast for us. So, kind of a review on the toast, but this list view is going to be kind of new to you. And, you know, I kind of ran through these next two, or this tutorial and the next one pretty quickly, so if you guys need me to explain some more about list uh, view and list activities and stuff like that, just let me know and I'll create another tutorial kind of walking through everything um, again. So, again, thanks for watching. Let's get started. There's a few different ways we can do list views. Uh, I find this one to be the easiest. So I'm just going to show you uh, this way of doing it. What we need to do first is we need to go to layout and we're going to new, open a new XML. And this XML is just going to define one single listing in our list just to give it so something to work with later. We'll reference this as one single listed item and there will be plenty of these. So we're just going to call it um, single item or yeah single item dot xml and it's going to be a layout and again we want it to be a single item so we aren't going to need a linear layout we want this to be a text view because we're going to be displaying text so this might be a little different but you know you probably understand what's going on a little bit and we want to go within these uh, this end brace, and we're going to define some stuff within the opening text view. Um, and we want to set up the Android text size. And again, we can do this by like you know 20 dp, but also you can use sp. This is basically like what the user has their font size set up as, and it basically just kind of uses the ratio. Uh, kind of like DP, but it uses that ratio with what they have their text size set up as already on their phone. And then also the other thing we need to do, so we want, probably want to set up some padding. So these are two new kind of variables that we haven't used before. But, uh, or we probably use text size, but anyways, the padding we probably want to be like, you know, 15 DP. And this is going to be what wraps around our text and our item. So, you know, you don't want to have your list like with no space in between all of your um, whatever items you have in here for example if this was a list of these five different rows you don't want like that you probably want some you know spacing like that so that's what the padding does and that'll be on all sides of the text and we're just going to save that and exit out of there next thing we want to do is we want to set up a new activity or a new class and it's going to be a list activity so that's going to be a little bit different as well and we're just going to call this list view, or I'm just going to call it uh, list v. Doesn't matter. And finish. Again, we probably want to add reference to this as well, but we'll get to that as, in a second. Actually, let's do that real quick. So in our main class, we want our sorry our menu class. We want the second button to open up this list activity. And this is just review. But uh, here we go. Corn boys, the basics. All right, I must have already done it. Tutorial two. You just want to change that end part. Tutorial two, and then we want to set up that new uh, or in our Android manifest. We want to set up tutorial two as our you know our list activity. So I'm just going to copy and paste one of these. Probably not the one with the theme that we did, but uh, just copy that one, paste it down here, label it as list. V and want it to be tutorial two. Here we go. We shouldn't get any problems with that. Just make sure that reference is the same between that and your my main and this one right here, our main menu for button two. And then now we're back in this V uh, list V class. Usually we extend activity, but we want to extend some other properties that we can use. Or some other methods, and it's going to come from the list activity class. So we need to still import this, and we're going to check out some of the override methods. 
So as always, right click, source, override methods. And as you can see, we have all of these that we can use from. We have some from the list activity. And as you can see, we can still reference the one from the regular activity. So we're going to go down to the on create, just like we always do. Hit OK. And what else, the other thing we're going to need is we're going to need some stuff that's going to be in our list. So we need to set up kind of a new variable. And it's going to be a static final, meaning that it's not going to change. And it's for this class, pretty much. And, you know, you can't mess with it after you define it. And it's going to be a string variable. If you remember, that's text. But, you know, string only is one word, pretty much, unless we have a ton of words within the same quotations. To get more, this is basically an array. So now we can list multiple things within this string variable that we're setting up, and it'll kind of reference it through an array. I don't know if that made sense, probably not, but we're going to call this variable uh, food. And what's it going to equal? Well, it's going to equal a new string. And again, it's going to be an array. That's basically what those little bracket things mean. And then we can define what it means within a new set of brackets. So to define our string, usually we say, you know, it's equal to something like ice cream. Yeah, and then we could just define ice cream. But with an array, we can set up two items within our food class. So this is going to be like the first or the, the zero item. And it's going to be like first item, second item, third item, you know, stuff like that. And so we're just going to add some other stuff in here, like bacon. Everyone loves bacon, unless if, you know, your religion doesn't like you to like a bacon. And we're going to do cheese, because who cannot like cheese, really? It's delicious. Uh, sandwich and just to save some time I'm gonna copy and paste these and you know if you want to add your own variables that's cool but I'm just kinda of setting up some more variables that we can use so our list is a little bit longer and then all you gotta do is you go, gotta go down to this bracket and again finish off this full statement basically now we set up our food string array and it's gonna carry all these things yeah, I'm just going to clip the video here and I'll see you guys next tutorial where we finish it and we actually kind of use this uh, single item XML and all that good stuff. So, see you guys. Peace.